Hey guys, this is the second video on the Employment Claims Act. So in this second video, we are going to talk about the things uh, that you have to do before you uh, file a claim with the Employment Claims Tribunal. Now, under the Employment Claims Act, the first step is to attempt mediation. It's compulsory. You should submit a mediation request online through the e-services to the Tripartite Alliance for Dispute Management as soon as your claim arises because there are limits uh, to the claim period. You'll be asked to upload relevant documents including evidence. Mediation is a mandatory step aimed at resolving uh, disputes uh, amicably uh, be between employers and employees before escalating to the tribunal. Mediation is conducted by the Tripartite uh, Alliance for Dispute Management or TADM. A mediation session will be scheduled where both parties will attempt to reach a settlement with the help of a mediator. Uh, if a mediation is successful, a settlement agreement will be drafted uh, and then it will be binding on both parties. Okay? So for example, uh, an employee is suing the employer for $50,000 in an unpaid salary. The employer says, no, 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 uh, he's a bad employee, he did this, did this, did that, did that. So the job of the mediator is try to bring parties to a settlement, you know. Instead of 50,000, perhaps uh, they reduce to 30 and the employment says, no, no, maybe, you know, at most I can give 10 and then 10 and then drop down to 20. So this is what mediation is about, basically coming to a compromise and then executing a settlement agreement which is legally binding between the parties. So if the mediation is not successful, uh, you receive a claim raffle certificate allowing you to file your claim with the Employment Claims Tribunal. This can be done through the Community Justice and Tribunal system. You must file your claim within four weeks after receiving the claim referral certificate and serve the documents on the other party within seven working days of the date of filing the claim. The filing fees are 30 Singapore dollars per claim if the claim is less than 10,000 Singapore dollars. If the claim is more than 10,000 Singapore dollars, the filing fees are $60 per claim. The person that you are suing is called the respondent, okay? Uh, and it's often the company because people usually sue the company for uh, wrongful dismissal or salary disputes. So the respondent may respond to your claim that you have filed in different ways. For example, uh, the, the respondent or the company may offer to settle your claim. They may say, oh, now you're suing me at the, in the Employment Queen's uh, Tribunal. Okay, I'll settle with you. You sued me originally for $50,000. i will offer you $30,000 instead to just, just drop the thing. That's one of the ways of responding. Number two, they can dispute your claim. They can say, no, 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 no. I don't owe him anything. Or number three, the respondent can even file a counterclaim. So think first, okay, of possible counterclaims. That, uh, that, that, you, that the respondent or your employer may want to file against you because you don't want to be faced with a, a counterclaim that is bigger or larger than your claim. Uh, for example, uh, if you are suing your, your employer for 50000 in uh, unpaid salary and you know that you damage the employer's uh, uh, equipment or, or you make the employer lost sales or make loss a huge customer causing millions and millions of damage, you don't want to start an employment claims lawsuit and then get a counterclaim which exceeds the $50,000 amount. So after the filing of the claim, the tribunal will schedule a hearing date. An employment claims tribunal hearing takes place before a judge called the tribunal magistrate. The tribunal magistrate will direct the flow and the manner of the proceedings. Parties will get to present their cases to the tribunal magistrate during the hearing. After each party has presented their case, the tribunal will consider all the facts before making an order. And some of the matters that uh, the tribunal will consider are whether the claim is made out, whether it's, it's true, you know, based on the evidence, okay, and the supporting documents. Or the tribunal can also say, uh, if the party, without having a reasonable excuse, failed to attend any mediation and this may uh, affect uh, uh, him adversely, okay? Or any party failed 
without reasonable excuse to attend any of the employment claims uh, tribunal proceedings. So this will, uh, uh, these matters, you know, uh, basically don't care about the, 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 the claim, don't bother to attend court. These will uh, factor into the magistrate's mind when making the order. Orders made by the tribunal may be enforced in the same manner as a judgment or an order made by a district court. So you, 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 you have the option of a writ of seizure and sale, garnishy order, you know, insolvency winding up. You can watch my videos on enforcement. Uh, the link is below. So depending on the nature of the claim, uh, the tribunal may make a money order or a dismissal order. If the court makes a money order and the other party doesn't pay, then yeah, you can you can you can start enforcement, which is yeah, uh, seizing, confiscating the assets, and auctioning off, freezing the uh, garnishy order is freezing the bank account and taking out the money, insolvency, blah blah blah. But for wrongful dismissal claims. The Employment Claims Tribunal can require the employee to reinstate the, uh, an employee in his former employment and to pay them an amount equivalent to the, the salary that they would have earned if they had not been uh, wrongfully dismissed. A party who is not satisfied uh, against the decision of a tribunal uh, can appeal to the High Court. Okay? Uh, to do so, he must first apply to the District Court for permission to appeal on any ground involving a question of law or that the claim was outside the jurisdiction of the tribunal. So thanks for watching this second video on the Employment Claims Tribunal.